Hi, my name is Thomas from TB Pro Audio. In this video, I will explain the different listening modes of DCQ. The dynamic spectral equalizer DCQ works as subtle as possible. The processing is usually difficult to hear. However, in order to identify the problematic parts quickly and to process them effectively, extensive monitoring options are required. With version 2.1, DCQ expands the arsenal of listening options even further. In DCQ 2.1 we have Prefilter listening, listening to the main or sidechain signal processed by the prefilter. Filter band listening, listen to the process signal with a parameter from the selected prefilter. And narrow band listening. Listen to the process signal filtered by a freely adjustable filter. The prefilter listening mode is useful if you are going to adjust the prefilter settings. You can monitor the main or the side chain signal. It highlights the spectrum which makes the dynamic spectral equalizers working. The filter band listening mode lets you listen to specific areas of the processed audio. The filter settings are controlled by the selected prefilter, either active or inactive. Just click on one of the prefilter buttons and move it freely around. The mouse wheel adjusts the filter width. Combined with the delta monitoring mode, you can verify the impact of specific prefilter settings while adjusting them. The narrow band listening mode is enabled by clicking and holding the left mouse button over the spectrum view. Moving left to right changes the filter frequency and up down the filter width. This mode works with all other monitoring modes except filter band listening. It can be used as a final quality check tool by going quickly over the problematic spectrum areas. Okay, that was basically what I wanted to show you. 
Use the different monitoring tools to set up DCQ in the right way and to avoid overdoing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to ask any questions. Thank you and bye.